Hey guys, it's Jill. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, welcome. Today's video is such an exciting video. And I am partnering with Venus. So a huge thank you to them for sponsoring this video. I am so excited. I'm about to show you four outfits that are going to be perfect for Valentine's Day or really any kind of time. Um, we are definitely transitioning into, we're trying to get into the warmer months. I cannot wait. I never thought I would say this, but this winter has been brutal, so I cannot wait for it to start warming up and I have some really cute outfits to show you guys. So I'm so excited for this video. So all links are going to be down below in the description box and that link is going to save you 20%. So you do not need a coupon code or anything once you Click on the link, it's gonna take you to the website. It's automatically going to apply 20% off of your entire order. So you cannot just purchase what I'm showing you, but browse the website. They have such amazingly cute, awesome clothes I think you guys are gonna love. So definitely make sure you check out their website as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. So first I have this shirt right here i absolutely love it it's very soft very flowy very this is a size 3x i would say 100 percent size down either one to two because this is huge you'll sh i'll show you when i untuck it but um you can see right here too on the side i just put a nude bralette underneath so i mean it's not a big deal but um especially so you can see my pretty lacy bralette but you could also obviously always cover or put a blazer on top. Blazers are so in right now. So if you love the blazer look, definitely, definitely make sure you're doing that because it is very on trend. So then I also got these jeans right here. They're just de-stressed, so cute. I absolutely love them. I'm 5'4", so they were a little long on me. So I just went ahead and I cuffed them, which I don't mind. I actually like it. And I really love these jeans because they are actual skinny jeans and they're actually stayed to the ankle and they're not flared out. Some skinnies, especially for plus size women, will have that kind of flare to them still and I'm not a fan. So these I absolutely love. And then I have it paired with these rose gold sandals. They are so pretty, they're so sparkly. And I think that it ties in really well with the pink. It's not like a super like baby pink. It's more like a dusty mauve kind of pink, but I really love it. I love this outfit. I think it would be really great to go on a date night. You know, this could be a really great, um, eat, or this could be a really good during the day look. And then you can just throw off these sandals, throw on some heels, throw off these sandals take off these sandals, throw on some heels, put on a blazer, and you are ready for date night. So I love the versatility of these two pieces. I mean, obviously, you know jeans go with literally everything. You can dress them up, dress them down. Definitely a staple in everyone's closet. And then a nice shirt like this. Um, you guys know, <laughs> you saw like one of the hauls I recently did. I bought like three shirts that are like this. And again, you can, Kind of have it for a more casual look and leave it open you can have it tied like i did or you can just kind of tie it like this and leave it loose and casual i also like the fact that it has like this little detail right here it's really cute it's like openings but it's not it's not showing any skin or anything so it's perfect for the office or wherever you need to go to be a little more conservative and a little more put together so yeah i really 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 love this outfit here is the back of the jeans, by the way. They do have the little, what is this called? It's not distressing. It is kind of like bleached look to it, which makes it a little more casual. But, you know, I like casual vibes a lot. Um, I actually like casual with a little dressy, so it kind of balances everything out. I like balance. I forgot to tell you guys about these sandals. So this is what they look like. They are gold on the website that's what they call them but i look at them as more of a rose gold they have more like a pinky kind of rose tinge to them um and that's really just the little sparkles right here i love this little knot it's adjustable um you can literally just slip these on they're so easy they're going to be perfect for the summer and i got these at a nine and a half 
which is I went up half a size. I could have definitely stayed with a nine, but I do like to have a little extra foot uh, sandal right here, shoe <laughs> right here and not have my foot at the very end. So depending on how you like it is how I feel like you should go with the sizing. I could have been fine with a nine and I'm also fine with a nine and a half. But um, yeah, these are really cute. They're just nude on the bottom. And then they have this really pretty rose gold sparkle going on. And y'all know I love me some sparkle. Hold on, I forgot I told you guys I was gonna show you what this looks like untucked. Here it is right here. It's really, really So if you like your shirts like this though, there you go. I mean, you can do different things. You can tuck it in, you saw it tucked in. You can also, I like to do this. If I'm not gonna tuck it in, I'll go like this. I'll just pull the piece of the shirt into a belt, like one of the belt loops on the jeans and just kind of have it like this. So it adds a little something and also gives it a little bit more shape than having it just kind of balloon, balloon out. I don't know how, just kind of flow out. That's a better word. Um, and then you can also half tuck it. I don't know. I'm not really crazy about the half tuck on me. Maybe if this was a little shorter, it probably would look way better can bring it up, but this definitely isn't my favorite. I love it tucked in, but this is also, if you want to wear it with leggings, would be perfect. And like I said, this is definitely oversized, so I would need to for sure go down to a 2X, but it's really pretty. I love the color and it is so perfect for Valentine's Day. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys are doing for Valentine's Day. You guys are going to see what I'm doing for Valentine's Day. If you guys don't know, I'm single, but I'm gonna take myself out and I'm gonna treat myself to the most amazing Valentine's Day that anyone could ever give me because I'm giving it to myself and I'm gonna do exactly only the things that I wanna do. When is Valentine's Day? Oh, February 4th, yeah. 2022. Perfect, so since it's on a Monday, I can totally spend the day by myself and totally do everything I wanna do and not feel guilty about not bringing the kids along. Moms, do you feel me on that? Like, especially if you're a single mom, do you feel guilty if you go do something for yourself and not include your kids? My kids are fine. They're like, go, have fun, do you. And I'm like, but I can't leave you. Outfit number two is super casual. I paired this dress with these really cute star sneakers. I'm not gonna lie, I don't like this on me because of the way that my ankles and legs look in these particular shoes, but I do like how this all looks. Just swap out the legs. So here's the dress. I got it in a 3X. I definitely, again, should have sized down uh, because this is very, if you are well endowed in this area, you would be good to go. But yeah, I had to put on another bralette and I just put on a red one for Valentine's Day because it's so cute and I just love the laciness of it. I also love black and red together. I just think it looks so, so, so good. But what I ended up doing was just taking a belt, belting this dress and then billowing it or blouse, blousing it out over the belt. I think it looks so so much better like this on me and my body type. And that's the thing I say when you get clothes, try different things before you write it off. Because when I first tried on, I was like, mm -mm, yeah, no girl. And then I was like, let me belt it. And when I belted it and I was like, yeah, still no. And then I bloused it and then I was like, okay, now I can work with this. And this does have pockets too. It is a very light, soft, like, Summertime, springtime, this is a very, very good dress. Ooh, this would look so good with a denim jacket over top. Hold on, hold on. Definitely, I like it a lot better with the jacket. And if it is springtime and it's warm where you are, then you can always just pull up the sleeves. You can also do a denim shirt if a denim jacket is too heavy. But yeah, how cute does that look? Let me. Do it on the other side. But yeah, especially with this dress being so big on me, I think that I like it better with the denim. And it definitely does make it super casual, but I wanted to go casual with this outfit anyways. 
Um, so yeah, you also have the pockets in the dress. You can do any kind of jacket really. You could even do a leather jacket. That would also look really good. And you can also do heels with this and that would kind of bump up the dressy vibe or you can do casual. That's why I love basic pieces like this in my closet because you can do so many different things with it and you can make a different outfit every single time. Like you can pair some red pumps with this and cause y'all know black and red. <laughs> I love red, red heels, I love them. But you could do that and take this off, put on a leather jacket and Bam, you are good to go. A little clutch. Mm, girl, yes. This is what it looks like with the belt. And again, it feels amazing. It's so soft. It literally feels like you're wearing nothing. Like you're literally just wearing pajamas. And it's really cute too. This is what it looks like without the belt. And so if you are into, you know, bigger, baggier dresses, then I say definitely don't size up and this is perfect. You see how much the length changed too? Um, but yeah, I definitely don't like it this big. I want to show you guys these shoes. You can do so many things with these shoes. You can wear them with jeans. You can wear them with shorts. You can wear them with dresses. You can do so many things. I think they're so cute. They're sparkly. And this is a gray. It's like a grayish blue. blue. It's like a grayish bluish purple. Um, but it's so incredibly pretty. I just love a really good white basic sneaker. They go with so many things in your closet. And the star is just on the one side. And these are pretty much a dupe for that like $500 pair of sneakers. I would never buy because $500. And those sneakers come dirty. Like that's their thing. I don't like dirty sneakers. But these come nice white and bright. <laughs> That's more my vibe. <laughs> but yeah, I got these in a nine and a half. And definitely I would need to size up for half size. I wanna talk about that real quick too, because someone mentioned in, in a previous haul, like you need to start doing wide width shoes. I am not wide width, but I'm also not skinny. Like my foot's also not skinny, obviously. So I usually just go between a nine and a half and a nine, and I'm good. Um, unless the shoe is just too narrow. But when I do wide width shoes, I have to size down half a size and sometimes even a full size or I'm like not an eight and a half or an eight, like none of them fit because they're both, like the eight's too small and the eight and a half's too big. So I don't really mess with wide width shoes too much because I just, I don't know, I don't have a wide foot, but obviously I'm plus size, so I have a wider than I should foot. <laughs> okay, so here is outfit number three. I have this fabulous, fabulous, fabulous denim blazer jacket, whatever you wanna call it. It's like a jacket blazer, because it's shaped like a blazer, but it's definitely a denim jacket. Oh my gosh, it is so good. Size 24, I feel like I could would have sized down to a size 22, but I'm not mad at it. It's still really good. The arms are a little bigger right here, or the sleeves, so they're not super tight to your wrist, and you have a little bit more, almost kind of like a bell sleeve. You have gold buttons right here, and they do button and unbutton. You also have these two buttons right here. I'm trying to figure out, I'm guessing, that you can just, cause I don't think, can you button both of them? I don't think that you can. But I think it's for you to choose which side you like it buttoned better. So you can either do it this side, I think is how it goes. <laughs> I don't know, but that's what we're sticking with because I can't figure out any other way. But it's so cute. You guys know I don't really like my blazers or jackets buttoned anyways. I much prefer this look. I think it just makes you look so slim. And see, when you go from the side, you can see the jacket, not the stomach. Love it. Love it. So, yeah, this feels really good. I mean, it's a really good fit. Maybe I should. I, I feel like, no, I take it back. I definitely should have stuck with a 24 uh, because I like having 
the movement in a denim jacket. Sometimes denim jackets can be really stiff and that is so not what I like. So this is very stretchy. I have tons of room left still in the arms and the shoulders. It feels really, really good. But this shirt, oh my gosh, it's such a beautiful shirt. Okay, let's stop. I took a, I took a peek at the color and I was like, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. But I wanted to, I, I didn't want to move on before I mentioned this awesome detail, which I absolutely love because it just makes it a little more detailed and not edgy. That's what I was gonna say is edgy, but it just adds that little bit more detail to your jacket and you have a nice collar. This is a really, really, really good jacket. I just have it paired with these black pants. They're slacks. They are really good length on me. They fit me right at the ankle, no need to roll up or anything. If I were gonna wear an ankle around the ankle shoe, I definitely would roll it or cuff it once or twice. I think it would look really good though because they're skinny and they're not skinny flared. <laughs> that's, that's the new name I'm gonna call like most skinny jeans for plus size women is skinny flared. Um, this is what they look like in the back. They don't have any pockets anywhere. So they're just like the basic pull up pant that doesn't have anything else going on. So these are a really good um, pant for anywhere you go. You know, you can take them to lunch, on a date, to church, to the office. Really good, versatile pant. I think everyone needs a really good black pant in their closet. So yeah, they fit really well and you can kind of make them a little more high rise, which is also going to make your stomach or your waist a little more snatched. But this shirt right here, by the way, got these in a 3X, perfect size, wouldn't size down, no need to size up or anything. This shirt right here is so pretty. Y'all know I love pink. I am obsessed, especially this color pink. It's so, so, so pretty. So you have business in the front. Hey, girl. Go to the office. Oh, you want to go to the party tonight? Oh, yeah, I'm ready. Let's go, because you got a party, not a party, a party in the back, y'all. This shirt is so pretty, I love it. And I will say it's a little, just a tad bit big in the back area, because as you can see, this is kind of hanging. I did put on a lacy bralette to kind of give you a better vision. I'm, I'm like, it's killing this, this bra. I can't wear these bralettes without a bra, but that bra is really killing the vibe. <laughs> there we go. It's covered. But see, isn't it so pretty? You just put on a little pretty bralette and you go for a night out on the town and you have your back open and it's really pretty with all the crissy cross, crissy cross, <laughs> with the crisscross going on. And it's just so pretty. Is this a to be off the shoulder. I don't know. It's really pretty though. I love the fabric. It is long sleeve. It's very, very, very lightweight. And as you can see, you can totally wear it like this. Or I went, I got this in a size 3X. I feel like while it is a little bit bigger in the back, I don't think I would I would be able to size down. Well, if I'm gonna tuck it in, I would size down. I should have sized down to a 2X because I would not not wear this tucked in, I don't think. But this is what it looks like untucked. Uh, I paired it with the rose gold shoes that I wore with the very first outfit because I wanted to pull in and tie in the pink with the rose gold. So yeah, obviously you could totally do um, a open toe like black sandal with, with a heel or a wedge block heel. You can do a pink shoe if you have it. Oh my gosh, I need pink shoes. I need pink shoes. I used to have some pink shoes. They were fabulous, but I could never wear them because they just hurt my feet too much. But I need to find me some really comfortable pink shoes, this color, that'd be so beautiful. But yeah, you could also do nude. Many different options here, but I like it like this. Okay, so last but not least, first of all, I wanted to say, this was not the outfit I intended. I intended to pair these beautiful green shorts with this fabulous black top. But as you can see, I'm sure you can assume they don't fit. These are a size 24. These are amazing pants. 
They are button fly. Um, they are 24. They went up all the way. I just could not. They also don't have any stretch to them as well. If they had stretch, obviously I would have had more luck. But these are so cute. They have a cute little belt on them. So they're belted and super cute. They have pockets in the back, pockets in the front, size 24. Follow me on my weight loss journey so you guys can see the day when I can fit in these because these are amazing and I cannot wait to wear them throughout the summer. But unfortunately right now they don't fit. But seriously, if you're like a size 20 and below, definitely get these. These are a size 24. I'm a 22, 24. But yeah, follow me there. It's linked down below. I will definitely try these on. when I fit. They, They're really, you can tell they're really good quality shorts. They fit really well in the legs too, which is also a problem area of mine. So you know they're good. Um, there was going to be no problem fitting, not tightness or anything. Um, but they feel really good. They feel like nice and thick and sturdy, but also very soft, very soft fabric. Um, and then here we are with this top, which I love. This top, you can take so many different places. You can dress it, you can dress down, you can wear it with a skirt, you can wear it with jeans, you can wear it with shorts, which is what I was intending to do. Um, you can the pop a sweater, cardigan, blazer, jacket over top of this. So many different ways you can wear this. I love the billowy sleeves. They are, I always want to call this lacy, but it's not. It's just kind of like butterfly-esque. I don't know the exact word for these kind of arms, but they're so pretty and this fits really well. It's a 3X and it is banded on the bottom. Let me show you in the back. So it's banded right here and very loose, very flowy, which is really nice. Really comfortable, really soft, good quality fabric. And I just tucked this front part in so I could have a little more shape in the front because if I didn't tuck it in, then it would be down here and I'd be kind of playing with it. So I personally like the way that it looks tucked in, just a little tuck right there in the front. And I think it was perfect. So yeah, I just paired it. These are so, 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 so beautiful. How many sews do I need to use? <laughs> they're really pretty. They're really pretty. Um, they are the same sandal that I was, I've been wearing, the rose gold one, only they're silver. And I swear, silver rhinestones sparkle like no other. I love this outfit. It's very casual. It's very comfortable. Even though I was able to wear the shorts, that was the whole vibe for this outfit was really casual, comfy, still look put together, but also feel really comfortable and really breezy, easy breezy, but also look put together. By the way, these jeans are the jeans that I had on the very first outfit. So they are also Venus jeans, but oh, let me show you these. Uh, look at how beautiful these are. Oh my gosh, do y'all see the sparkle? I really hope that the camera is picking up how beautiful this sparkle is. These are so pretty. You best believe I'm gonna be wearing the crap out of these. I'm gonna wear them so much. These are also a nine and a half. That's exactly what I need. These are so pretty. Oh my gosh, I can't get over it. I love the little twist right here. And they just look so, so, so good on the foot. They really, really do. And then you have this gray um, strap in the back. Nude bottom. Nude. Oh, these are so, so, so pretty. I am obsessed. So that is going to do it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Huge thank you to Venus for sponsoring this video. I feel so incredibly blessed to be working with them again. I love their clothes and I love them. I'm so honored that they reached out to me again to work with me. Uh, thank you guys so much for making this happen for sure. Um, yeah, so links are down below in the description box. Again, don't forget that the link is going to be, you don't need a coupon code. The link is what you're going to need to click. It's going to take you to the website. And from there, once you're done shopping, the cart is going to be updated with the 20% off. You don't need a coupon code or anything. And those links are active with the 20% coupon code for one week. So you want any of these things or anything else that you find on the Venus website, make sure you shop 
between now and a week. <laughs> All right, I love you guys. Have an amazing day, and I will see you in the next one. Don't forget, if you are new here, subscribe, click the notification bell so you're always notified of every single upload. Like this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.